Should we be using high performing hashtags or small performing hashtags? Would you recommend varying your hashtags per post or keep them consistent and the same? How do you find the best hashtags to use? If you have ever asked yourself any of these questions before, then keep watching because I'm going to share with you that there is a free that you can use to solve all your hashtag problems. What? What's this? What? I'm Gadis of Made by Mutiara and welcome back to my channel. And on this channel, I want to share with you some of the tips that you can use to help you grow your lettering page on Instagram. So this week on Instagram, I asked on my Insta stories whether you had any questions on hashtags and clearly you do have a lot of questions. So thank you so much for that. But in this video, I'm just going to focus on answering these few questions first. And I do that by showing you how to use Tailwind to find the best hashtags hashtags on Instagram. So if this is your first time hearing about Tailwind, it is actually known for being a Pinterest scheduler. And because I use Pinterest for my own Pinteresting purposes, but is when I was looking through the site and I was exploring and I saw like, oh wait, they have an Instagram feature. So when I looked at it and then I figured it out and then I was like, Eh, this one can help me in my hashtag research. So one thing you must note is that your Instagram account has to be a business account. So make sure it's changed to a business account. It doesn't work with creator. I was that previously and then I had to change it. So make sure you have a business account before you use the Tailwind app. So to sign up for the app, you can go to the Apple Store or the Google Play Store. You download it and you just need to sign up with your Instagram account. So the good thing is that you can also use this app to schedule posts to upload at a time that they recommend. So if you ever wondered what is the best time to post on Instagram, this app can help you with that as well. So to answer the question from earlier about what are the best hashtags to use and whether you should use high performing or low performing hashtags, we're gonna go through about how to create a post and I'll show you how to do that now. So once you've selected your photo, you can of course add in your caption and then you can add in the hashtags as a first comment. So to me, there's no difference it's just an aesthetic purpose. So once you've done that, you want to click on the first comment. I think when it says hashtag only, we're going to try that. And what you want to do is to think about words that you associate with your post. So for the post that I did here, first thing comes to mind, this is a lettering or calligraphy post. So I'm just going to type that in. Lettering. Oh, I need to add the hashtag. <laughs> okay, rookie mistake. Oopsie daisies. Okay, lettering calligraphy. Since I use watercolor inks, I'm just going to type in watercolor without the U because this one seems to be better than the other one. So once again, it's important that you choose words that are closely associated with your post. So for me over here, I have lettering, calligraphy and watercolor first, just as my basis first. So what you can do is to hit the refresh button to get suggestions. So that's what I'm going to do now. And what happens is that they give me a list of different hashtags to add on to my current post over here. And what I really like about this is that it gives me a range of colors to know whether that hashtag is good to use. So they have a gray color for niche hashtags. Does not mean bad. It just means that it's very specific to maybe a brand. Like for example, I use the hashtag made by Mutiara to tag on all of my posts. So that's an example of a niche hashtag and then you have two shades of green one good one best and last but not least you have competitive so to answer the question about the number of posts or whether or not it is a good hashtag it really depends because if you take a look at when I'm scrolling through here from what I can see based on the numbers the best hashtags which is the darker green seems to be the ones under 1 million so maybe that's something that you can keep in mind when selecting hashtags under 1 million is best those above 1 million maybe it's good but because there are so many posts the competition level is definitely higher so what you can do is to select the hashtags that you want to apply but keep in mind it must be related to your post so if I start from the top is it hand lettering 
maybe not is it modern calligraphy yes it is uh the daily type okay so if you're not sure about whether or not that hashtag is relevant then i highly suggest you go on instagram and see what comes up when you type that hashtag if it's mostly what i think is typography which is not what i'm doing here then avoid the hashtag but i will put in brush lettering uh, handmade phone yes it's a handmade phone phone <laughs> okay so will i avoid using the orange hashtags the competitive ones no i'm gonna add in the watercolor and handwriting brush calligraphy calligraphy type so you can see as i'm going down the list i'm choosing the hashtags based on what i see are related to my post what else you can do is to refresh and you can see what hashtags you can further add on to your list so once you're done with that you just press the tick and there you have it so the reason why I really like using this app to select my hashtags is that it takes the thinking part out of my head. I used to always just try and experiment, try and experiment. Of course, you should still do that, but this at least gives me some sort of assurance that, okay, you know what? Maybe this hashtag combination will work. So what I did was to actually consult this very useful article by Tailwind themselves, where they suggest that you use a few competitive hashtags a bulk of good and best hashtags and also you can include using niche hashtags so for someone like me i don't usually just stick to one medium i like to post different types of art pieces from doing watercolor to doing chalk lettering so of course the hashtags that i use will have to change so my recommendation is if you find that your posts are not getting as much reach as it used to changing up the hashtags will definitely be something that can help but ultimately my personal opinion is that engagement is still the number one factor of how well a post does so if you want people to engage with your own post then you have to do your own bit and also engage with the other people that you see in your feed another thing you can do is of course if you are putting hashtags into your post then go into those hashtags because other people are using the hashtags and interact with those people then likelihood that hey Hey, they will see hey oh my gosh this person likes my content i'm gonna check them out so that's something that you can consider doing as well oh i just found something very interesting so in this uh, tailwind app here what you can do is to go to the bar at the bottom and you'll see that it's an insight tab and you know how much i'm like oh insights let me see what i can learn from it so over here it seems that it's not updated because i know that my number of posts is more than 699 i think it's 710 but Never mind, let's give it time to absorb, absorb, to analyze the data. But what I realized is that if I were to go to engagement, engagement, is it engagement? No, if I were go to go to post and it has automatically sorted my top post by likes. And let me just step on the first one. It actually tells me what is the top performing hashtag for this post. So you can see that this one here, the one with a cheesecake, surprisingly the top hashtag is a niche hashtag which is happens to be our challenge hashtag, sweet tooth, sweet letter. So I thought that was quite interesting but let me take a look at other posts. Oh, it's also a challenge hashtag. Let me see this one. Oh, okay. So for this one, the top hashtag for this ribbon lettering carousel is ribbon lettering. So that's quite interesting to know. Oh, okay. So this is quite interesting. So in this post over here where I am uh, drawing, no, I'm painting a mountain while I'm in a park. I have a video of that over there if you want to check it out. But surprisingly, the top hashtag for this post is first for everything this is just something that i do once in a while depending on what i'm sharing in the post i might add a common quote what i used to like to put in are things like progress over perfection forever grateful and it seems first for everything don't 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 always use that uh. if if it's not genuine then people people will know okay but yeah it seems that things like that can also help boost your reach in your post so that's so cool okay i'm just gonna look at a few more oh. <gasps> it's possible that there is no top hashtag 
But yeah, it seems like it is possible that there is no top hashtag. But what I'm seeing here... Oh, see, my own niche hashtag made by Mutiara is my top hashtag. What I'm seeing the pattern here is that all the hashtags that seem to be performing the best are from challenge hashtags. So hosting challenges maybe that's something that you want to consider doing in the future so one last thing i want to share is that if you prefer to use something on a desktop instead the good news is that tailwind is available on the desktop on its website and i just want to point out one thing that the desktop has that the app doesn't is that as i type in the different hashtags that i want to use the color of each hashtag that i have already selected is being highlighted in the color being assigned whether it's a niche best good or competitive so that's good to me because then i can keep in mind about the number of hashtags that i want to use whether I want to use more niche hashtags I want to use more competitive hashtags whereas in the app itself yes you can see the color when you are selecting in the parts below but when you have chosen it then you kind of not really see what color it was unless you deliberately take note but that's like double work so just sharing with you that what you can do you know is just you do on your desktop and then you save the set of like 25 to 30 hashtags and then go to the app or your phone copy and then paste into your Instagram post so that's it for this video I hope you learn how to use something new if you want to use Tailwind I will have a link down in the description below but just please note for hashtags to work you need to give it a bit more time so just be patient let me know down in the comments if you have any sort of questions about instagram or hashtag or you can follow me on instagram at made by mutiara where i do put up the questions for you to input in my insta stories every week and i just want to say a huge thank you for those who did put in the questions in particular i want to give a shout out to these three people so thank you so much for your questions to help me structure this youtube video and i'm gonna try something new if you want a shout out in my next video you can leave a comment down below or a question either one will do or you can share this video in your insta stories letting people know like you know hey watch this video and learn more about hashtags and be sure to tag me on instagram and if you found this video to be useful why don't you give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for more videos where i try to help you make social media a bit more easier okay that's what i want to do thank you so much for watching you can go and check out some of the other videos over here and i will see you in the next one bye